Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jujitsu. If he's able to extend these jujitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of Eight wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of East London, England, Lee! And now he's using his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? ready? All right, ready to go for round one. As many of you know, this young man won his last fight by knockout. No TKO, flush knockout for him the last time out. And now he is getting a shot against a truly elite fighter in this division. The question is, when the challenges get stiffer, will his game raise up to that next level? Throughout his career, when the challenges have gotten tougher, he has raised his game. That is exactly the goal in front of him tonight. Big kick land. All right, good to have you with us tonight as we get... Whoa! He needs to start looking... Oh! A top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. A massive head kick. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a press. And that'll do it. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. Oh, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 30 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Lee! Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You've only got... Coming up.
up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC. And I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level. From the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so unbelievable. truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of nine wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of East London, England, Lee. And now to introduce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 29 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Pelota. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Ready? So here we go with round one. This young contender has won his last three fights, and as many of you know, each knockout more impressive than the last. We'll try to extend the knockout streak here tonight to continue his path toward title contention. We'll see if he can keep it going. And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yes, sir. It goes into the books as a first round win by knockout. Near perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you get to the goal before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit, those strikes can have a bigger effect. And it certainly did here tonight. now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta is going to stop this contest at 22 seconds of the very first round. Including the winner by knockout, Lee! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get. Up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup.
Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts, there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of East London, England, Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Reykjavik, Iceland, Gunnar Gunny Nelson! All right, commit the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. Watching this one back, the head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes too with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. <laughs> now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 25 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Lee! Oh, there he is after a huge knockout. Just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. 
Yes, those punches are adding up. See? <laughs> Man, it's crazy. Seems like just yesterday you stand up at the posters all wide-eyed. <laughs> You've been through a lot. Hell, I put you through a lot. But it was all for one reason, to get you here. Your first UFC championship. I just want to say, uh, no matter what happens out there, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the fighter you've become. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, though. If you lose, I'm gonna have to bust you up in the gym next week. <laughs> I already made space on the wall for a new picture, and you know how much I hate redecorating, right? So let's go get that belt, champ. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. the date for this our main event of the evening more than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach here's Bruce Buffer ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening and when the action begins a referee in charge of the octagon Eve Loving and now this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of East London, England, presenting the challenger, Lee! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, 
This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your phone. Vicious knockout. Oh! oh the crowd and bad strikes continues to rain down. The opponent better move out of his way. He better start to move. And when the opponent starts to foster, he needs to put the field to heal. Push his play to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Now he's on top of the Do you believe it? That'll do it! He's done, he's done! Oh my goodness, what a fight! Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over, but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 50 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Lee. So there he is, the newly minted UFC welterweight champion. You had to look far and wide for people who were picking him in this spot tonight. As Dominic Cruz said, when you... Coming up next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. So here he is, the UFC welterweight champion working his way to the octagon. This will be his first title defense. So for all the naysayers who say, perhaps you're not the champion until you successfully defend the belt, he can mute the masses in a matter of moments here if he can successfully defend this UFC welterweight championship. Won the belt with style points, now looking to do the same as the hunted instead of the hunted. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. How about some Bruce Buffer? 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. It's the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 29 wins, four losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, presenting the challenger, Tatiago Jechebola Fonsanibio. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of East London, England, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Lee! UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. earlier this year, now trying to defend the title at 170 pounds. You know there's an avalanche of contenders coming up the ranks. They are all chasing this man. He is the hunted. He will try to defend the title successfully here tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the belt. All right, good to have you with us tonight as we get round one underway. On one side of this equation, we have one of the best jiu-jitsu practitioners in the school. Whoa! and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here to clear the opponent. You've got to intelligently defend the referee's mistake. You've got to defend. You've seen him now start to be positive and the intensity and all the things that are going on. He thinks that the knockout line. He got it. What a performance. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched up. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine is called to stop for this contest at 1 minute, 44 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Lee. All right, so a lot of people like the challenger tonight, but it goes to the champion. Congratulations to the still UFC welterweight gang. And it's gonna take a big effort, I would think, to be this. Yeah, he is just... All right, coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title.
All right, so here is the accomplished, decorated kickboxer Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Twice he has challenged for UFC gold, came up short against Tyron Woodley. But at any given time, DC, this man is one win away from another shot at the goal. Yes, because he can put on those types of performances where the fans and everybody starts screaming, wait, what about Wonderboy? What about Wonderboy? And it does not seem as though Stephen Thompson has you in danger. But every time you're in there with him, you're constantly under duress because one mistake can be the end of your night. You watch one of the boys slide out of position mm -hmm. very, very subtly as guys try and attack him. And the moment you're out of position, Steven is countering and finishing the fight. A phenomenal striker, a great fighter is the Wonder Boy. And a true martial artist who, not unlike yourself, is giving back to the sport, runs the children's karate program at Upstate Karate there in Simpsonville, South Carolina. And they are all watching their man here tonight as he tries to produce on the biggest of stages. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC. And even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an R bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, OK, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five hands for the undisputed UFC welterweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 17 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Simpsonville, South Carolina. Presenting the challenger, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of East London, England, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Lee. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? So here we go with round one of this UFC welterweight championship fight. All eyes on the champion as he looks to defend the title yet again. Prior to his title reign, we saw this 170-pound title change hands quite a bit. Not so since he earned the strap. Oh! Chop in the woods. Chop the woods with those legs. Oh. oh, there's the head kick. Look like oh, there. He's done. He's, done. He's got him hurt here. Oh, big left. Beautiful knee. Oh, nice right hand. All right, so now we see some dirty boxing in the cold. Let's go. Do something. 
He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he got a bad! Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Ooh. Just blocked. Oh, big left hook there. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Look, that one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, there are a few things more fun. Oh, wow. Oh! All right, side control now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was gonna be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with it. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, huge right hand! Trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, nice high kick. You got him. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Over and over, he's landed these big bodies. So there he is, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. What a finish he turned in here tonight as he gets it done by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Evil Beings called a stop to this contest at 16 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by...